So the Blackwood event, we've kind of known this has been going on. Looks like it's the first time this is going on. Obviously, Blackwood is new. So it's going to run from September 30th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard to Tuesday, October 12th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard. So it looks like during this event period, you and fellow ESO players can work towards unlocking incredible new reward sets by earning the Blackwood Pathfinder achievement. This achievement is essentially discovering all the locations that the have the little eyeball on them, so it's very easy to get. To do so, simply visit these six unique locations in the zone, and every day you'll update the meter found on the Bounties of Blackwood page with the community's ongoing progress. So if we take a look over here, this is what it actually looks like. So an external um, website on Elder Scrolls Online for the progress that we've reached in order to lock bonus rewards. As you're earning those achievements, Blackwood Pathfinder, incentivizing you to get out, there's essentially a community reward tier. We get a Swamp Jelly Pet at 33% uh, unlocked, Shadow of Blackwood Marking at 66%, Cascading Bounty Box unlocked at 100%. What the Cascading Bounty Box is going to obtain and locked at 100% is chances to get Undaunted Plunder, Rare Materials, Item Sets, and guaranteed to include Attainable Crafting Station and a unique Ogrim Target Dummy. So a new Target Dummy is definitely worth trying to get this to 100%, and it's a community-based goal, so we'll all get it via the Crown Store if we hit this, getting a lot of achievements in order to get it. An incredible mysterious prize will revere at the Gates of Oblivion year and stream, also locked at 100%. So Elder Scrolls Online continues to hype up the stream. I don't know what it's going to entail. I'm going to put a link in the description below. October 1st is when it's going to be at ESO Live. But they're really hyping up the stream for some reason. So we'll find out that last reward here. We scroll down and we see a picture here. I assume this is the cute little pet and the Ogrim target dummy. So make what you will of that. Then it talks about you're going to earn bonus rewards during this event while adventuring in Blackwood Zone. To start, pick up the bounties of Blackwood Introductory Quest from the in-game Crown Store or the Impresario Tent. Once you do, it talks about the Blackwood Coffers. During the event, just like other events, the first time you complete a daily in Blackwood or the Rock Grove Trial Weekly, you receive a glorious Blackwood Legates Coffer. This new reward box has a chance to contain some of the following items. Usual suspects here, crafting materials, valuables, styles. Style items for Blackwood, Blackwood gear items, treasure maps, Blackwood motifs, a fragment for the pet, Blackwood themed furnishings and furnishing re recipes, and companion gear if you have one active, which is kind of interesting. You're going to get one of those, and if you continue to complete daily quests after the first, you can earn regular Blackwood Legates coffers. You have a lower chance to contain the rarer rewards. You can also find regular Blackwood Legates Coffer in the following ways. Bell, World Bosses, Oblivion Portals, Blackwood Monsters, Treasure Chests, Safe Boxes, and even farming Harvesting Resource Nodes. So it gives you an incentive to do it one time per character, log into other ones, and do them on a bunch of different characters, and then continue to do them if you want to keep earning these rewards. The motifs specifically are awesome, and you can sell them for a very high price. If we scroll down here, in addition to the above, all Blackwood Daily Quest in weekly rock road trial quest has the regular reward boxes double harvest note i assume they meant harvest node yields are increased in world public dungeon trial and del bosses drop an additional reward the trial for me is an absolute no-brainer if you own the blackwood chapter to farm because it has some of the best in slot gear for tanking healing and dps magic and stamina so regardless if you can do the veteran and get the perfected, now would be the time to at least do the normal and fill out that sticker book because all of these gear sets, if you own the chapter, are some of the most impactful in the game. Sorry, own event ticket. So you can earn up to two event tickets per day. The first time you complete a Blackwood daily, meaning you can earn up to 26 tickets over the entire event. I assume they made that 26 stick out because people were asking about it. So don't forget the event ticket timers reset at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard each morning. And that if you earn new event tickets over the 12 limit cap, you'll lose them. Here's what the Impresario event merchant will look like and have in stock during this event. Unstable Morphograph base fragments, including the Deadlands Flint, Rune Etcher Striker, and Smoldering Blood Grass Tender. Did I say those right? All three fragments for the Dagonic Quasigroth. I'm sure I screwed that up, to upgrade your unstable monograph with. Smoked wreath, griffin feather, black iron bit and bridle, and the new black iron stirrups. I'm sure I screwed those up.
Also the pet fragment, assorted blackwood theme furnishing and group repair kits. So final thoughts. Um, for me, this is gonna be really good to farm trials and we'll be doing trials on stream at twitch.tv slash deltias gaming. Just probably doing the normal running through people, uh, getting tons and tons of Saxeals Champion, Stone Talker, Soul Zons, Bahases, all those sets are juggernauts. Also, I think the motifs are worth collecting doing those dailies. I'm excited they're actually doing a community challenge. I think that's really progressive and interesting and hopefully it leads to more use of the website. I've touched on it earlier, but why not use the website for leaderboards, right? Other games do this to show your friends a flex and say, hey, copy paste, here's where uh, my leaderboard score is or whatever. So they're gonna start using metrics inside the game and display them on the website. That leads me to believe they have some other plans for the website and this function. And I'm really excited about that specifically. If leaderboards were incorporated, I think it'd be a home run. And then not to mention Blackwood Zone, the motifs, the companion gear, the zone itself is absolutely beautiful. And so it's gonna incentivize you to spend a lot of time in there. I do think the community challenge is quite interesting. I, I'm very disappointed this is not a double XP event. I know that Elder Scrolls Online has a lot of double XP events, but I feel like a lot of people have been coming in and out of the game recently with some other MMOs like New World on the Horizons. A lot of folks have been playing Destiny 2 going back to that game. I feel like they really needed double XP in this specific event to be a home run. Otherwise, good incentives to get in here, start to earn some things. I'm going to be running Rock Grove until my face bleeds to get all my sticker book filled out. And I hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching.